Here's one for your respiratory offskis. What you're seeing is Hoover's sign, a classic sign of advanced COPD. Let it remind you of a Hoover vacuum cleaner. The soft tissues in the intercostals are being sucked inwards. Now, normally when we breathe, the diaphragm contracts downwards and outwards, which pulls the lower ribs outwards too. But in Hoover's sign, there's a paradoxical indrawing of those lower ribs. But you'll remember that for longer if you understand why it happens. So let me explain. By the way, I've released a brand new guide, Never Forget Differentials. Learn the memorization system to remember more causes of common presentations. Comment diagnosis for some free papers. Let's remind ourselves what happens in COPD. Typically, smoking-related changes damages the air sacs, and they become hyperinflated. A classical x-ray sign is flattening of the diaphragm. It loses its typical dome shape, and instead its contraction causes the indrawing of those lower ribs. This is what causes Hoover's sign. But here's a high-yield question for your vibes. Hoover's is typically bilateral, but when would you see a unilateral Hoover sign? Have a few seconds to think about it. There's two main conditions to think about. One is if there's emphysema only affecting one side of the lung, or two is conditions which cause a unilateral diaphragm paralysis. If you're examining a patient with COPD, make sure to look out for Hoover's sign. I've got more memory hacks for you, but you're gonna have to follow me to come and see them next.